Welcome to another video on data jurisdictions. In today's video, we'll be creating a column chart with multiple series. For example, on the left, you, you have data on a certain metric across four different departments. And then we also have the data for three different months, so three different series. So on the column chart, it will appear like this where each department is its own category. And within each department, we'll be able to compare the metric across the months, January, February, and March, they are in three different colors. Another example on the right would be how the sales have been by region in four different quarters. So in the chart, each quarter has its own category. And within each quarter, we can see the sales by region. North is represented in red, east in yellow, west in green, and south mid blue such column charts allow us to compare a metric across multiple series easily and it can be built very easily in microsoft excel when we are developing these type of charts we have to make sure that we don't end up with too many series or too many categories and make the chart less effective in these cases when we compare across four quarters or four departments in this case this is a very effective way to present data to compare metric across series. In this video, I'm going to give you the fastest way to create these charts when your data is structured nicely like this. And also, I will give you a more detailed step-by-step. -step. If you don't have the data structured nicely organized in your spreadsheet like this, if they are spread everywhere, you can still create column charts like this. Let's get started. So we'll start again here. Uh, I'm going to use the data on the left side here for our exercise here. So I'm going to move this chart and we'll create one from scratch. As I mentioned, the easiest way would be if your data is organized like this, where you have four columns in this case, four different categories, and within uh, each category, you have three series of data. So if your data is structured like this, then select the data, including the headers, go to insert, go to the clustered column chart it will automatically create a chart like this uh, let me move this out of the way so we the colors that you see on your chart in your excel may be different because of the theme that you have but conceptually you will be receiving a chart like this when you did this now let's go ahead and make the necessary modifications so that we get to the final view the first thing is to make sure you put a title. Comparing across months. Again, you can put your title as you see fit. I would like to move the legend um, to the top. And then I would move it up here. And then you can uncheck this box so that you get more space for the chart because your legend has gone to the top right. Now, uh, if you need to show the access titles, I would recommend. Uh, again, this is based on whether your audience can easily understand the what is in the x-axis and what is in the y-axis. If they, if it's very very obvious, in this case, I can see that it's a department, so it doesn't need it. But if in case you need it, you can always add the access titles by checking the box and then going here and then typing in quickly. This is department. This is the metric, the sales, or uh, in this case, it could be the number of employees, for example. Um, so write the metric name, write the department or the category name here. We have the legend here. We can add the labels. So you can go to the plus and then add labels. And this will add labels to all. Uh, and then just right click on this grid lines. And you can go and change the color here. So it's not too visible, so like that. And then you can also change the um, the entire chart if you select and then go to rounded corners, and now you'll get rounded corners. And then for the border, I can choose a different color and maybe one point width. So now I have a nice chart that looks like this. You can control the colors. You can select any series by clicking on a series. So I've selected the red series, and I can go to the fill, and then I can choose, instead of that color, if I wanted a darker blue, and then I'm going to choose the yellow series, and I'm going to change that to uh, maybe a little bit lighter. And then the last one, I will make it very light. So it looks like the blue one 
if I don't do it right, the darker. There we go. So now I have three series, three different shades of blue. And everything looks nice. It's complete. Uh, this is how you can create one if the data is already set nicely in the structure. This is very fast to do. But let's say you don't have the data in, in, in these um, nicely organized way. What do you do? So the best way to do that would be I'm going to open a brand new chart. So I'll create a new 2D chart. And then what I'm going to do is to right click and select data. I can add a series. And now I will give a name to the series. So I can do January and then select. And then for the horizontal, I will choose the four departments. And then I can add more series. Again, uh, I hope this is very clear from now. So the reason why Excel is giving an error is because it has the one at the beginning and I'm adding more. Uh, so I always should make sure that's empty. And then I add the series and there is no error. Um, and so this is an example of how you can create, even if your data is spread anywhere in the spreadsheet, you can still do it manually. This takes a little bit longer, but um, if that is how your spreadsheet is set up, you can still create the charts. Obviously, the fastest way was how we did it before, where your data is nicely organized, you can create it very quickly. Hopefully, this is helpful. Uh, if you have any suggestions, if you have any other ways of creating these type of column charts, if you have any uh, suggestions on how this could be made better, please put them in the comment section. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in another video.